What is happening with everybody out there? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Cortland Galloway. If you know me, then that means you're pretty much sure to subscribe or you're about to hit subscribe or you're about to hit the like button. Go ahead and get it over with now. I have a new name for you guys, by the way. Um, we're going to name the audience nerds. You may be asking, Cortland, why are you calling us nerds? Because if you are on this channel, if you're watching me right now, we are all about nerdy camera shit. Okay, that's what we're, that's what this channel is all about. It's all about nerdy camera shit. So without further ado, let's get the intro rolling and yeah. What's in my camera bag for 2020? Well, first off, in order to know what's in the camera bag, we gotta know what bag I'm using. So we have it right here. This is the Low Pro uh, 450. Version two, three. I don't know, but whatever. It's a low pro and I know it's a 450 whatever, okay? I don't know all the numbers and all that fancy shit. This book bag is awesome. Why is it awesome? Because it has all these different straps. You have all these different things on the front. You can hook other things to. You have all these different pockets. I have a pocket over here. Got a pocket over there. You know what I'm saying? I got pockets right here on the side. Got pockets on the top. And yeah, and I can just clip different things to it, man. I mean, it's really dope. I didn't want the um, the 250 or the one smaller than 450 because I have, I'm, I'm a running gun photographer and filmmaker. So everything I'm doing, I'm on the go and I'd rather have a bag that can fit everything versus me having an upgrade bag, move crap around, all this that reorganized, which I kind of already have to reorganize now that I'm, you know, and I think about it, but whatever. You get the just. I don't I hate going back to stores to keep buying the same thing and a different version of it over and over and again. It's super annoying. I don't like it. You guys may be asking, Corlin, what are these things hanging out from your book bag? Well, this is a little guy we picked up in somewhere in the Virgin Islands, me and my wife, before she was my Okay, that was my phone that just went off. That's my text home. If you know what that text on is, you're an official nerd and welcome to the family. It's not Kim Possible, so do not say it's Kim Possible. I digress. But anyway, back to the bag. Yes, what are these hanging off from it? I'm gonna tell you. These things hanging off, bought this little guy in the Virgin Islands with my wife before she was my wife. I, we actually, I actually got engaged to her at Barbados, on Barbados Beach, on a nice white sand beach. That's what I got on one knee. This right here, Pikachu, the, um, yeah, this is Pikachu right here. Anime's number one companion. All right, and that's, and that's another reason why I like this bag because it opens up from like the back so can't, so no one can steal stuff. And so you have to pretty much to beat me up and take this off my back for you to steal it. Oh, and I do have side pockets right here too. Side pockets. Got my business cards in here, you know. Uh -huh. Business cards right here. Got a few of them in there. And on this side pocket, I have. Okay, this is one of the things that is super helpful for this bag. These cleaning wipes. This I'm not sponsored by these cleaning wipes at all. This is Zeiss lens cleaning wipe it's for my glasses mainly, but you can use them for lenses, your computer screen, different things. But they're super handy. I got like a whole pocket of these over here. All right, and here is what is inside the bag. Now, there is a few things missing out of this because I only currently have one camera right now. All right, we only have one camera right now. I need to put that on silent. I'm gonna do that now. Um, we're gonna start this off with different sections, different items, and we're gonna, we already did the bag, so item number one is a Peak Design camera strap. Great investment, 60 bucks. The best 60 bucks you're gonna spend. Awesome. We have here, we have a flash. This is a Canon Speedlight 430 EX3 RT. Really dope. Compact. Um, I like smaller flashes because I mean I could have when I, I could have went balls crazy to the wall and bought like these huge flashes. But again, I'm a running gun photographer and filmmaker, and I don't want my bag to be weighed down more than it has to be. So this is very important for me. I have one of these. Well, actually, I have two of these, but I'll keep one in the bag. Next thing I have, um, let's go ahead and jump into the lenses because I, I, my bag is pretty organized, bro, and, it, and it's not like nothing crazy going on. 
Next thing I have is this guy. This is the uh, Canon 50 millimeter 1.8. Um, I have the 1.2, well I have my eye on a 1.2 right now, but for right now this is the 1.8. I don't use it that often except for like um, detail shots and stuff like that, you know, if I'm working with a brand or whatever, I need some close ups, so I just use this because the 50 is the equivalent to the human eye. Moving on to the next, we have my Canon 24 to 70. Now this is a 2.8 lens, but this is a um, version one. So they have two, and I think they have three now. But version one works just as good. Um, I'm actually, um, at the time when I bought this, I traded in a bunch of other stuff at this camera shop. Um, the name of the camera shop is Southeastern Camera. Really dope people. Cool guys. Went to one in Raleigh, North Carolina. But uh, I traded a bunch of stuff in this to get this version one because it's not that big of a difference between the version one, two, or three, to be honest, besides weight. Um, but yeah, I, it works fine. I ha but also I have ordered um, a version two of this. Um, it's currently on the way. I've ordered uh, quite a few um, upgrades, but I didn't feel like I wanted to sit here and wait all this time because um, I'm seeing everybody dropping their what's in my camera bag for 2020. All this crap, blah blah blah. So we might have to do a part two to 2020. We might have to do a part two to 2020. But yeah, this is the 24 to 70 2.8. Great um, lens. Um, I don't have any complaints about this lens at all. It keeps up with, you know, autofocus, everything, tracking. I mean, it, I mean, it is, it's just a balls to the wall lens, man. I mean, this is an amazing lens. Um, yeah, it keeps up for a freaking version one. For a version one, it keeps up. But yeah, guys, if you, if you guys do not have the money to go out there and get all these lenses that all these other creators are using, they do make other versions. Same quality, it's built to last. You can get a little cheaper. When you get the money, then go ahead and get your, the stuff you want. But anyway, we're moving on to the next one. Next one I have here is my 70 to 200. Um, now, uh, this is a 2.8, and this is a version 2. I did not get the 3 because, again, I'm trying to be cost effective here. I mean, yeah, cost efficient here. I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Cost efficient. Um, yes, it's image stabilized. It's awesome. Great for those portraits. This is just a really, really, really fun lens to use and to have in the bag, um, just in case. Now it is kind of heavy, which is why I don't have much of a flash in here, mainly because of this bad boy. But yeah, I mean it's an awesome lens. Man. It's an awesome lens. It's a beast. You know, you can't ask for a better lens. It's a super fun lens. Um, and I'm gonna link all these um, items below where you can go and get them and everything. Um, let me know what's your favorite lens in the comment section. That would be awesome. Next we have, oh, the lens I'm using on here right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, the lens I'm using on right here, right now, it is a Tamron um, 15 to 30. It's an art lens. Pretty dope lens. Love the lens. The only downside it is that it has a protruding glass. So it's like, blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 blah, 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 but yeah. Um, yeah, it has a protruding glass, so I can't put an ND filter or anything on there, um, which is fine for right now because I actually have that one on the way too. I have a Canon 16 to um, 35 on the way. And if you watched my last video, you know I broke this lens. Well, it's not really broken, but it's scratched up and shit. And I have OCD about my gear. So I have that on the way currently. That should be here in about three or four days. So yeah, I spent a nice little pretty penny on that lens, um, and that will not be broken. The next thing I have is in my camera bag, of course, the camera itself, which is a Canon 6D Mark II. Um, I bought this camera from Southeastern um, Camera Shop again. I bought everything inside of the bag, including the bag, um, from Southeastern Camera. I get all my gear from Southeastern Camera. I'm not sponsored by Southeastern Camera whatsoever, but they're just a really dope shop. Uh, my boy Cognito is always down there helping. He's like a photography guru, mentor, even though he shoots Fujifilm. I love you, bro, but you, you didn't shoot Fujifilm. And you've been in this photography game for probably, I think you told me like 15 or 20 years. So, Fuji is serious for you. I know y'all Fuji heads out there are pretty serious with y'all Fujis. Um, but yeah, we bought this lens, bought everything else from there. Um, bought this camera from there. 
All this stuff is used that I bought. I have not bought anything brand new. I don't believe in buying camera gear brand new because the price of all the brand new stuff is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, I bought this 6D Mark II, I want to say about a year and a half ago, maybe. Um, I got it for a steal. Uh, walked in the camera shop. I was actually coming to buy a 5D Mark IV. Hmm. Yeah, I was coming to buy a 5D Mark IV, but then the guy was like, hey, dude, um, I just got this 6D Mark II, and I don't know if you want to check it out. You know, I know you're here for the 4, but let's check it out. I checked it out. I mean, it was brand freaking new. The Mark D, the, the Canon 5D Mark IV had like a scratch on the LCD screen, and I just pretty much sold it for me looking at this brand new camera. And so I got this camera for like 980 bucks. 980 bucks used so the owner just came into the camera store and dropped it off said he's moving it was up in the attic the whole time he got it for a christmas gift and he never used it so i got a brand new camera for 900 bucks i think the retail on this on these 60 mark ii is like 1200 1300 i don't know i don't know but yeah that's what i'm using right now and i'm also using a rode video mic go um the best 60, 70 bucks I've ever spent. Um, really bought it from Amazon. Didn't get that from the camera shop. Hello. Bought that from Amazon. Um, yeah, it's, like I said, the best 60, 70 bucks I could have spent. I can't remember how much I spent on it. Um, my mom bought it for me. But yeah, um, don't have to worry about any batteries. Audio is great. Whatever, I can fix the audio on post if I need to. Enhance a little bit, whatever. Um, and what it's standing on, I'm not, I don't have this standing on a tripod right now. Cause I, Sure, you know that every time I chest the, the table, look, it's a little, it's a little shake. <laughs> but I have that on this Gorilla Pod, um, the Joby Gorilla Pod. I freaking hate Gorilla Pods, but they come in handy in this situation. I used to walk around with my, um, no, the first video I did, I walked around with the Gorilla Pod, and it was hell on earth until I saw a buddy of mine holding it, holding the camera by the lens itself. So you can't even see that. Can you can't see my hand. Man. Yes. So yeah, I actually walked around like that, but I learned my lesson and that's not happening again. Now this next item I just bought like two or three days ago. The best item I have bought for camera stuff. This is the best I bought for camera stuff. I wanna see I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna pull it out but I want you to see how it fits in here. Look at that. Look how it fits in here. This is a, another piece of low pro. We can call it tech, low pro tech. It just slides in and, I mean, slides out and slides in. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. This is the way that sounds and the way that feels. You gotta understand. So I think we're done with this. We're gonna throw this bad boy down on the ground. Not throw it, replace it abruptly. But this is um, another low pro device. Um, it's called the low pro camera box, gear up camera box medium. Pretty dope little um, situation here. And of course it matches with the, the orange and the GoPro. I, mean, I could have bought a cheaper one, a cheaper brand than this, but it matches, it matches, whatever. So this is a really good thing. Oh, oh. But yeah, it all matches, man. And you know, I mean, this is just an awesome um, piece to have because as some of you know, whoever owns this, this low pro um, camera bag, the 450, um, cords and stuff can get really crazy. The little pockets in the front can get really, really crazy. So I bought this so that doesn't happen anymore. So what do we have in this bag? The top part we have, Apple charger, need this. Really got it here for the block. But whatever, need the Apple chargers because I am an Apple user. Um, I have a Droid charger cord for my friends who have not caught up with the rest of the world and said screw it and went and, and, went and bought an Apple product on um, phone or whatever. But I mainly have a Droid because it's going to go into the next item I pull out. Next item is um, the Bose Sound Link. This is really dope little device. Gets really loud when you're at photo shoots. So you got those weird models who are just up here on their phones, not talking. Just looking. Instead of having a conversation. So got this for the weirdos. Play music. 
Um, if you don't have that, you need that. It's only about 80 or 90 bucks, I think. Um, what else do we have in here? We have extra batteries for the 6D Mark II. I have three other ones in the room somewhere. I don't know where they're at. Um, next thing, we have batteries. AA battery packs, Duracell. I'm not sponsored by Duracell, by the way. Duracell does not help me out at all. But bought these batteries. Um, for, I bought a whole box of these little four packs. Um, I keep two two packs of equipment, eight batteries on the inside of this thing for my, um, what is that thing called? What is it called? For my flash, flash. So yes, that is that. Um, next we have, let me put all this stuff over here. All this stuff over here. Yeah, put it right there so you see all the crap that's in here. Put that right there. Put this right here. Okay. Put it all over there. Next we have, boom, SSD. This is a SSD, aka a hard drive. It is one terabyte. It is by Sandus. They're not sponsoring me either. Um, also, the device. So I got a buddy of mine. He works the Best Buy, and he was. T I, well, I, I'm winning there one day trying to find a hard drive in general, and he was like, "Bro, why do you want a hard drive for, it, bro?" I'm like, "What do you mean? Why I want a hard drive?" He's a photographer too. I'm like, dude, what do you mean? I know why do I want a hard drive? What type of freaking question is that? And he was like, but well, dude, we have SSDs. That's what's up. What is that going to do for me? He was like, well, bro, just think about this. Think about what? And he was like, bro, just think about this. Imagine a hard drive being an organ. What does organs do? Organs eventually die out, stop working. Something goes wrong with it at some point in time. So he was telling me a story about another photographer who walked into the store. People are really texting me. Somebody else, um, another, another photographer who walked into the store and they lost all their um, information. Or oh, well, the hard drive became corrupt or something, or something like that. And I was like, okay. And he was like, well, um, when you lose the information, you have to come in and get a flash. All I would do is go and get a flash, not a big deal. It wasn't until he told me how much it cost to get a freaking hard drive flash or to, or to recover all of the information off said hard drive. Um, he told me it was about 500 to $600. And I was like, oh no. And I was still a maybe if you can get everything off of it. So I was like, okay, so tell me about his SSD. He starts explaining the SSD in its full entirely, full entirety. And he was saying like, I mean, it's faster, it's smaller, more compact. Yeah, you don't have. Yeah, you can't get 15 terabytes or however many terabytes. Only come one, two, or three. But at the same time, if the disk goes corrupt, then it's only going to cost you 40 or 50 bucks to to get all your information off of it. And you will get all your information off of it. I was like, well, pff, that's a freaking no brand. Only thing about it, these are pretty expensive. I paid 234 dollars for this little shit right here for this little shit $234 I digress it's worth it blah 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 I don't care I'm probably gonna get another one soon alright next item is Corlin what is this Corlin what is this you may be asking this is my Apple Airphones Airpods Airphones Airpods whatever you want they're headphones okay they have, uh, they have a cute little um case here because I'm a nerd. We're all nerds. Welcome nerds. Um, yeah, this is for when I have to get phone calls and I don't feel like holding my phone up to my head while I'm in the middle of a photo shoot. Mainly what I use these for is to talk on. Some use it, but mainly to talk on. Um, next we have Canon battery chargers. Battery charger LCE6. That's what this is right here, guys. Um, I have about three of these. Um, I keep one in my bag just in case I may need it or just in case somebody else need it. If you need my stuff, I will retrieve it back. I will find you, I will hunt you down, and I will get it back. Anyway, but yes, this. Need this. Um, last thing. Now, have you watched my, my if you follow me on Instagram, I was talking mad trash about Best Buy. Mad trash about Best Buy. Best Buy is not sponsored. Um, talking mad trash about Best Buy. 
you know, just saying that there's like a store. If you're into filmmaking or photography, you don't need to go there at all for anything. Best Buy is only good for two things, okay? Best Buy is good for one, situation like this, SSDs. Two, um, memory cards. You know how many memory cards we all use. I have three of them. Um, and lastly, a memory card case. This memory card case is amazing. It's only 12 bucks. It's waterproof, it's drop proof, it's pressure proof. You can step on it, throw it, whatever. It's proof, blah, 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 blah. This is an amazing thing for 12 or 13 bucks. You just clip it right here, open it up, and it can hold up to 24 cards, it said on the pack. So it can hold um, standard Extreme Pro, Sandisk cards, CFAS, the small little ones for the um, for your drones. Um, it can hold doubles of each one of those things in here, which is why it's so deep. In here. Yes, it can hold a lot of these in here. This is amazing um, piece. Super amazing. But um, that pretty much sums it up for my once my camera back 2020. Hope you guys can take a lot from it. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below for everything. And you guys just just please just um, if you're a creative, if you are you know just in the art realm in general, just make sure you stick with it. Um, I know it's, it can get really hard, you know, especially for starving artists. Um, it can get really hard. I mean. That was something new to learn. So any field where there's something new to learn all the time, it's going to be hard. But you just have to make sure that you stay consistent. I think consistency is key and stay super different from others. Not different to the point where you're just doing stupid, outlandish things on the internet. But, you know, just make sure you stay different. Um, make sure you have a support system. You know, the people around you can be um, a big contributor, contributing fact to uh, failure, just make sure you look at the people around you, assess them, and uh, move accordingly. That's all I'm going to say about that. But yes, yeah, so it's been I, it has been a great time with you guys. I got to clean up all this stuff, and I didn't roll any B-roll. I don't think. Yes, I did roll B-roll. Yes, I did. So when you see this, you have already seen the B-roll that was rolled of the rolls of the B-rolls rolled and rolled of the B-rolls. And just be sure to um, like and subscribe. Um, if you're new to this channel, you know, shoot me a thumbs up, shoot me the smash the button, subscribe button, all that good stuff. I will catch you guys in the next one. I bet you guys didn't even notice the, the lights and stuff, did you? You probably didn't even notice it. I know you did notice it. But you know what? I look super dramatic right now. You ready? God, it got super intense that fast. These lights make a difference. These lights make a freaking difference. I'm telling you, these lights make a huge difference. All right, who the hell is texting me? Let's see. Yeah, no problem, loser. Okay, okay. I think when people just text, okay. Like, I mean, seriously, I mean, do people text you okay all the time? Yeah. I mean, this. For what? I mean,. You don't have to say okay. This is a, this, I mean, Apple, you have a little press thing fucked up. That's what it is. He doesn't have an Apple phone. He doesn't have an Apple phone. He does not have an Apple phone. If he had an Apple phone, he would have just held the little message bubble and would have said, press the little sticker for the thumbs up and and his messages are green. So yeah, that, that makes perfect sense actually. But I really do like these new lights though that, that we have. I think they're pretty nice. Hell, you never know. I might just, you know, just hang up like cameras up here that I don't even use. Like the old cameras. I like that stuff. That stuff looks nice. 